The Lutheran Church has a heritage of celebrating its music. And at a church just a few blocks from the Capitol on East Wash, its musical history has centered around one woman, at least it has for the last 50 years. It's a story we're featuring on our community pages on Channel 3000, and community editor Scott Beatty is here to introduce us to this amazing woman, Scott. Yeah, guys, uh, Marlis Middlestad has performed roughly 7,000 church services, Sunday being her last. She's also played about 500 funerals and 500 weddings during her amazing run. We found out quickly organ music is an integral part of a Lutheran service, especially at St. John's and especially when Marlis is at the bench. Now I'm going to play it with a lot of frills. People like this. Marlis Middlestad has been stirring up emotions through music at church services since she was 13 years old. Yeah, I wanted to be a band director, but in those days it was kind of frowned upon by, <laughs> for girls directing bands. Girls were supposed to direct choirs. But Middlestadt says directing the choir and playing the organ each Sunday at St. John's Lutheran Church has been an honor for the past half a century. She says she's enjoyed the challenge of finding the perfect marriage between the day's service and the music that fit just right. Those hymns have changed over time. The language has changed. Even the music has changed. And sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not. And you gotta take your experience and the people that you're playing to and for into consideration. And she has done that in talking with Pastor Ken Smith. He says that Marlis Middlestad is for many in the congregation what, ch what church music is. And I'm sorry, Marlis, she asked me not to say this, but I met with her on Wednesday. It was her 80th birthday and she was on her way to her 63rd class reunion up in Eau Claire. Oh. Isn't that amazing? What a Happy cool birthday. person. And she went to the UW, didn't she? She did. She went to the UW. She majored in music, uh, studied piano, played the flute in the concert band, did just about everything in her time there. Oh. And after graduation, had kind of an interesting twist, too. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, her husband was in the service. She followed him across the globe, played organs and organized choirs at many different military bases across the country. And guys, much more on that on Madison near East channel 3000.com. She talks about how she started at St. John's. We have more pictures. Plus, um, she uh, she also is not retiring. She didn't want to call it retirement. She is going to continue. She's got a couple of recitals coming up this year. Pastor Smith hopes that those recitals continue into two th 2012 and beyond. More oh, on the community pages. Check it out.